Your we teacher today is Dr. Bosa Science. Dr. Bosa is a teacher at the Science Foundation College, the best school that teaches sciences. Today, 20th September 2020, we are going to study plant tissues. Plant tissues include parenchyma, corenchyma, scarenchyma, xylem, and phylum tissues. One parenchyma consists of unspecialized, usually spherical cells with thin cell walls. It forms the baroque of the packing tissue within the plant. Function is of parenchyma tissues. Parenchyma tissues store water and food reserves. Two, when it tagged and tightly packed, they provide support to herbaceous plants. Three, it contains air space that allows buoyancy in floating plants. Four, it contains chloroplast for photosynthesis, especially in the leaves. Example, which of the following plant tissues performs both storage and supportive functions? A, parenchyma, B, scarenchyma, C, corenchyma, D, folium. The answer is A, parenchyma tissue, store starch, and also provide the support to herbaceous plants. Two, corenchyma. Containing cells with additional cellulose deposited in the corners. Function is of corenchyma tissue. Provide the support in the leaves and the younger stems. This is the major function, but some of them may store food, and some plants, they may contain chloroplast for photosynthesis. Location of corinchyma in the petiole of the leaf, in the stems of herbaceous plants. Firi, chikarinchyma tissue, contains dead hexagonal cells deposited with lignin. Function is of scalenchyma tissue. One, scalenchyma provide mechanical support to the stem and roots. Two, scalenchyma make up xylem and tranchid for water transport. Three, scalenchyma cells in the fruit walls help in its dehesis and dispersal of seeds. And four, the carenchyma of the seed coat protects the seed from discussion. Question of the tissue in the vascular bundle, a hypodermis of monocotyledonous stem, endocarp of egg of nuts, Carenchyamatous tissue on the surface of the seeds, for example, cotton. Differences between corenchyma and scarenchyma. Corenchyma consists of living cells, scarenchyma consists of dead cells. Cell walls are thickened with cellulose in the corenchyma. Scarenchyma, cell wall is thickened by Beginning. Corenchyma, cell thickening is non uniform. It is thick at the corner. Scalerenchyma, cell wall thickening is uniform. Corenchyma may contain chloroplast. Scalerenchyma don't contain chloroplast. Corenchyma cells are not perforated. Scalerenchyma cells are perforated. Xylem consists of parenchyma cells 
and the fibers with the vessels and twenty-eight. You can see that the zyre was made up of A, twenty-eight, B and C vessels. Vessels are made of cylindrical dead cells, one on top of the other. The cross walls between the cells is broken down to form a long continuous tube from the roots to the leaves. The type of vessel found depends on the degree and the nature of cell thickening. In protozyrium, lignin is deposited in rings or spiral and this allows expansion. In metazyrium, there is a more extensive lignification arranged in patterns known as reticulate, scalariform, or pitted, as shown below. The type of thickening can be anular, spiral, scalariform, reticulate, simple pitted, border repeated as you can see. Function is of the xylem. It transports water and mineral salts to provide mechanical support, especially to the stems and roots. Adaptation is of the xylem to its function. One, cross walls are perforated or completely removed to form a continuous tube from roots to leaves. Two, contain bordered pits to allow water to cross to living cells. Three, lignified to prevent water loss. Four, lignified to prevent them from collapsing under negative pressure of transpiration pool. Five, there are smaller tubes to allow high capillarity. Six, xylem walls have got high adhesive force for water molecules. Seven, they are lignified for support. Development, development of the xylem after cell division, the cells to become the xylem undergo cell elongation and secondary thickening. Later, cell walls are lignified, causing the death of the cell content. The cross walls degenerate to form long continuous tubes. Five, flowing consists of a sieve and a companion cell as shown below. Functions of the florem transports manufactured food usually in the form of sucrose or amino acids from leaves to other parts of the plant. Adaptations of the florem. One, lacks nucleus and most cell organelles to provide room for transport. Two, sieve plates are perforated to allow food to rapidly cross from one cell to another. Intimate association with companion cell obtain energy and material. Four, filaments allow quick transport, especially by streaming. Development of rhythm Cells destined to become sieve elements elongate. Most of the cell organelles degenerate, leaving cytoplasmic filaments. The plasma does matter of end wall widen, forming sieve pores. Differences between xylem and folium. Xylem are made of dead cells, folium are made of living. Cells. Two, the cells are identified in the xylem 
Fuelim, the sorrows are not dignified. In Zairem, the end wall disappears completely. In Fuelim, the end wall is only perforated to form sieve powers. Zairem have got pits. Fuelim has got plasma desmat. Zairem cells have got thick walls. Fuelim cells have got thin walls. Zairem transport water and mineral salts. Fuelim transport food, that's sucrose and amino acids. Thank you for listening. Find the notes. Revision question is an answer on this website, digitalteachers.co.ug. Please, please subscribe to promote my work so that I can produce more and more for other people to enjoy.